Hello, my name is Jean-François Lass. I'm a PhD and I'm actually the CEO and the CSO of OncoDNA. And beside me, you have uh, Jean-Paul Dettif, who is the CEO of OncoDNA. Uh, actually, OncoDNA is a teragnostic company who is dedicated to patient care in cancer. Our goal is to provide the patient with the best treatment possibilities as we can. And to do that, we develop some uh, specific solution which are based uh, on the analysis of the tumor biopsies. What makes us a bit different uh, from the other competitor or other solution on the market is that we combine the analysis of the sequencing using the next generation sequencing on DNA, as well as a bundle of additional tests uh, made by IRCs and other technologies. And actually we have been uh, created five years ago and during that time, we had the opportunity to perform uh, or to analyze uh, more than uh, 3,000 patients. And in order to demonstrate the benefit of our solution to the patient, uh, we perform uh, an analysis of more than 1,000 patients, where actually we look at what were um, the benefits to either perform the sequencing alone the uh, some immunohistochemistries alone or the bundle of both because as uh, you know or you probably know actually there are different companies that claim that uh, next generation sequencing and the analysis of the dna in standalone might uh, find or might be uh, some kind of holy grail uh, for the patient and uh, we just recently have been accepted in onco target for this publication and um, the results were quite striking. What we found is that about uh, only 30% of the patient analyzed present um, a mutation in their DNA that might have been useful for a treatment. On the other way around, we had about 70% uh, of, of the patient having um, an alteration led by the immunohistochemistries or the other tests that might have led to a, a treatment. And actually, when we gather both, we reach a treatment decision or a benefit for the patient uh, close to 94%, which is really amazing and which really demonstrates the benefit of combining those both approach in one analysis. Then, based on those results, actually, we ask in blind. So uh, it was really based on a computer formula uh, sent uh, by another computer to the oncologist whether this test was useful for the patient, did they follow all guidelines, not follow all guidelines, and what were the outcomes. And what we observe actually is that more than 60% of the oncologists actually follow all guidelines. About 35% uh, of the oncologists didn't follow, but not because they didn't believe in the solution, but because actually the treatment we advise was not available or not affordable in some countries. And a very few percentage of uh, the oncologists didn't follow our guidelines. And the reason was that they had other evidences or what was written in the literature didn't convince him, them, didn't convince them. And then we look at the overall survival, meaning that, OK, they decided to treat the patient and what were the outcomes for the patient. And actually, what we observe is that 50% uh, of the patient have an overall survival of about six months, which is in the range of what you can expect with heavily treated metastatic uh, patient. But very interesting is that about 25% of the patient had an overall survivor above one year, meaning that our tests were useful for those patients to live at least twice longer than what is usually observed based on uh, the classical uh, approach uh, for heavily treated metastatic patients. So this is really interesting and which really demonstrate at, at least a first proof of concept that how this combination how, and how those kind of solutions and our solution might be related to a benefit for the patient. So the next step will be, of course, to see, OK, can we increase these benefits? And um, also, can we uh, design a new clinical trial in order to demonstrate 
that our solution have a clear benefit for the patients and especially associated with the immunotherapies because immunotherapies it's uh, the new way to treat the patient and what is observed in routine is that 40 percent of the patient don't answer the immunotherapy but they have the marker which are supposed to give them a good prediction to answer immunotherapies. That's why we developed a new way to analyze those patients. And we, uh, thanks to our personalized immunogram, which is a bundle of five uh, biomarkers within our solutions. And we set up a different clinical trials called the Archie project, where actually we will compare the prediction of our solution, compare to the final results observed by the oncologist. And what is really important is that it will be a prospective clinical trial. So not a retrospective one anymore, but really a prospective one where we will we will really compare the real life of what would have been the outcomes of the patient based on our prediction or not.